especially when they're working in Germany, when there is a, this um, strict hierarchy for mm-hmm. education. So in especially in pharma, there are many uh, pharma companies where without a PhD, you cannot progress much. Without a master's degree, you cannot uh, progress much. And it holds people back. So what is your opinion on uh, this in terms of uh, a career uh, progression? So if people let's say they're technicians right and mm-hmm. but they should they they're able to do more than that because they want to they have uh, the mm-hmm. passion for it is it the same also in switzerland where you're located um is it familiar to you and what do you think should be done about it i am familiar with uh, with those requirements i've i've seen companies do that and 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 focus on the title um It all gets a bit perspective if you think that, for example, in Switzerland, uh, doctor is not a protected title. Uh, I can write my I can write doctor in front of my name if as long as I don't write doctor med or something, uh, nobody can contest that. So uh, titles are relative. Um, I but we often when we hire we put the requirement for a master of science or a bachelor degree or a PhD, as you say, we put that on the on the job requisition. And it makes people fill it makes the HR people, the recruiters, it makes them filter for you. Um, in my experience, and this is um, this has happened when I hired internally and when I hired externally, uh, I, I tend not to look at the title, or maybe the, I look at the title last uh, because I'm more interested in the passion of the person. Uh, I've, I'll tell you that. Three of the strongest people in my team that I've hired uh, have no PhD. They have a bachelor's degree. And in two cases, not even a bachelor's degree in the area that I was hiring for. Right. And I, I picked those people because of their, of their passion, the, the, the desire to join the group, the desire to, to work in that area. Uh, that was, it was pal- palatable during the interview you could really see these people had fire in their heart and, and that is something that i look for and the the difficult thing or the important thing also is to is to distinguish that from a blaze that dies after the interview and really be able to say okay yes this is a person that has this as a character trait there's passion there is there is engagement there is the will to move beyond their own abilities That's what is much more important in my view and much more valuable than titles. Don't get me wrong. Uh, a PhD with passion is not something that is impossible, right? But it shouldn't be just one or the other. Okay? It's, it's really the combination, the mix that makes the whole thing. 